Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. I'm Arif Iqbal, and you're watching WNS News. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi Parade. Early accounts first reported that the assailant struck as the parade was in full swing. They overwhelmed and seized control of the Arasaka Aris's parade platform. Fortunately, Arasaka's security forces, under the personal direction of Yorinobu Arasaka, quickly tracked down the abductors and secured Hanako-sama. Yorinobu-sama has since issued a public statement condemning the perpetrator's deplorable actions and promising swift retribution. To those who raise a hand against the Arasaka family, I promise you, we will rip the hand off and pour salt in the bloody stump. Well, looks like the gloves are coming off.
Hey, V. After all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gonk. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes, is all. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka and Militech and how the world's going to shit? Just rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way, bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. All right. Suit up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on you. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Don't go there, dude. I haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. Water's toxic. That not a problem? Whole reason we're suiting up. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Stay close behind me, and don't descend too fast. Where are we headed exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. 
It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is it. Come over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. Great, motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song, you give me the title. Read me. Hey, I know that. Edda Sorrentino. Only you. Dead on. All right, that ought to do it. What now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. Impressive, huh? That's... That's incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? Wanna get the right emotional reactions. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why is this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time. Gear, stars weren't ever aligned. The truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Best eatery in town? 
Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now, your childhood tasted like scop dogs from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. You know what they say, it ain't caliente if it don't burn on the way in and out. It's a weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? Nah, not much. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Hockey stick? Is there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit schmoozing, Alvarez. We're losing because of you. Come here. You're dead meat anyway. Go out with me. Sorry, you gotta go. They're calling. They're calling. Here, take this camera. Put it off in your hands and sit in here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. Judy, Judy, watch out for her cutie. What was that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Ugh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was... temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. I'd still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. We looking for anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around, though. Picking up very chill vibes. It feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that, we can see what lies up ahead. Hard to imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Hmm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touché, Judy. Touche. Gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. It's good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though.
But this isn't yours. Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours. No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid, where daily life grinded along, can imagine it a bit. <laughs> Church hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. I gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear him. I don't know how it's possible, but... I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah! Closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just... there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. I found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. and worse. Huh? I read you loud and clear. Everything all right? Ah! to lift me out. Dunno, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. I heard something weird just now. Sounded like complaining? Complaining? That the best you got, kid? You heard that? It's incredible. Never happened before. But, uh, no worries. It's Johnny Silverhand's construct. You heard his thoughts, not mine. Johnny? What? Remember the relic? The reason for the whole damn heist? Well, Johnny Silverhand's digitized psyche was on it, and, well, his personality is seeping into my mind. Taking over. You could say his mind's overriding mine. Oh, shit, V. That mean you're... disappearing? Can you stop it? And here we go. I 
got an idea, a plan. But I just don't know if it'll, well, work. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Stay where exactly? We gonna camp on the shore? No, in there. Crash there sometimes after dives. How about it? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator? What's next? Jacuzzi? Finished sauna? No, but there is running water. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. I think you could have fine tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. The feed I was picking up felt a bit... flat, I want to say. Power's up. Your little spa is open for business. So be careful. Of course I will be. Of course Judy? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. You thinking about Evelyn? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw No Next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. It's on my nerves. That's you and me below. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of Alt, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? 
You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. City's chewed me up. They're spitting me out. Since I've known you, Judy, all you've been is chaotic, unstable, and hot-headed. Positively burst into my life, you did. So I should have expected an ending just as abrupt. Like this. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, B. Give me your hand, B. Why? What for? Don't say anything. Just give me your hand. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, B. That's really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see you, Judy.
What you looking for? Hardcore BD? Maybe something softer? You don't got any real girls? We employ dancers here. No joy girls, no dolls. I heard this was a fun club. Not so fast, little man. No weapons allowed. We're running a civilized operation. Right ahead. See? Wasn't so hard. Welcome to Empathy. Let those pricks twist your arm. I won't. We must build our network in the city council. And then, you know, I know what this is my fear. Nice, man. You're working. A little dignity. Come on.
scaring folks now. Got a problem? Hey. Okay. Uh-huh. Everything all right? May I help you? <laughs> oh.
what I'm fucking talking about. Get in, install what you need, get out like it ain't no thing. Gig is closed. Me and my people will come for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
hell is this?